All right, YouTube. This is the video that a lot of people have been waiting for. This is the complete full unlock of the Keurig 2.0. Full menu, any K cup, anything makes the Keurig the way it should be. Easy, just follow my directions here. Should be done in about 10 minutes. I already started a little bit to make the video a little shorter. What you need to do is you need to take this off, this whole top piece. What you can do is you open this top lid. There is a screw right there and right there. Let's take those two screws out. This should come loose. That will come loose. And then just take a flathead screwdriver to come out back here. And that'll pop that up and this whole thing will come off this whole thing will come right off and then you're gonna have clips like right there you pop the clip and there's a clip right there and you go all the way around and then this whole screen will be able to move up and down like that And what you want to do is first off, to use any cake up, you're going to want to come back here, you want to find the green wire, right there, find the green wire, cut it. Voila, that easy. That will unlock your carry to use any cake up, you cup solo cup to fill your own coffee with now the one that everybody's been having trouble with that i took time and i figured out last night how to unlock all menu options with any cake up there is a sensor in here when you bought the clips it's going to be stuck down inside of there you just want to take a flathead screwdriver jam it down in there you'll see it's gonna look like this it's gonna look like that it's gonna be stuck down in there with these two holes it's gonna be clipped in just take your flathead and pop it out and it's gonna have two wires on it you want to take these two wires and you want to bridge the connections on both of them tie those two wires together and I'm gonna put the phone down I'm filming with the phone, I'm sorry. And I'm going to do it. Give me one sec. I trim the two wires, take these two wires, and tie them together. Could solder them. I'm too lazy. <clears throat> Just make sure they're nice and tight. Okay. <clears throat> now we'll plug the machine in. show you what the water 
taken. Sorry for the crappy video here, guys. I'll try to make a better one. I just need to get this out there. Everyone needs to know how to do this. Two wires right there. Comes off a piece that looks like that. It's a sensor. All you're doing is bridging the wires that were connected to the sensor. Tie them together. Solder them, whatever you want to do. Tuck it back in. And then that's it. Close the carry up. That's all you gotta do. Your carry will be completely unlocked. Just let this thing heat up. the green wire and by the way I want to say thank you to I think her name is Kate on YouTube she was the one who came up with this bypass with the green wire I'm taking credit for that that's all her and last night I did figure out how to unlock all menu options this is a permanent you don't have to do this all the time, just one time. Use a reversible if you want to go back and, you know, tie this thing back on there if you want. You can do that. I don't know why you would want to. But this will unlock your gear rate the way you want it to be. No tape, no gear tops, no magnets, no nothing. Your Keurig might look a little different. This is a 350. I've done it to a 550. It's a little bit easier. You don't have, there's not as many tabs. It's a little easier to access. But this couldn't be any more simpler. <clears throat> and I took the screws off of here. You don't have to do that. I don't know why I did that. It just gives it a little bit more leverage, I guess. You could do it. There it is, guys. Right there. There you go. All the time, every time. Full menu options. Bam. Any cake up you want, put your cake up in. Full menu options. All you gotta do, put your carry back up, and you're good to go, guys. Alright, take care.